previous videos, I have showed you guys how to uh, how to get rid of a radical on the bottom. Now here we have an issue because we have a radical on the bottom, but if we were to multiply by that radical, what would happen is radical three times radical three would give me three, but then I'm multiplying radical three times four and I'm gonna get four radical three again. So I'm still gonna have a radical on the bottom. I have it not eliminated it. So we have to go back to our algebra and remember a uh, certain type of factoring that helps us out. And what we call this is like the difference of two squares. And this difference of two squares, what this tells us is when I have uh, my same front numbers and my same last two numbers are the same, and I have alternating signs, what I get when I factor this out is going to be the front number squared minus the last number squared, which we call a difference of two squares. And why this is so important is because what happens is the 3x and the negative 3x, those actually cancel out on us, so we don't have to worry about it. So what I can do, or what I'm going to look into doing, is I'm going to multiply this by 4 plus the square root of 3. So I'm going to create the difference of two squares for this problem. So by doing that, if I multiply the front two numbers, I'll get 16. And negative square root of 3 times positive square root of 3 is a minus 3. All over, now I have to multiply the 5, this is being multiplied. 5 times 4 is 20. 5 times square root of 3 is going to be 5 times radical 3. Now here I can subtract this down to a, um, this becomes a 13 equals 20 plus 5 radical 3. And since 13 is a prime number, I can't factor anything out from there. Um, and that's really bad. You could factor out a, uh, a 5 from the top if you wanted to kind of reduce this a little bit more. You could make it a, um, let's see, you could have 5 times 4 plus radical 3 over 13. But um, that's how you do it. You just need to make sure this is what we call the conjugate uh, of our uh, binomial. So you always want to multiply by your conjugate when trying to get rid of your radical, as in it's a binomial.